Hi everyone, my name is Paul, I'm one of the librarians at Thomas Crane Public Library, and I'm here today with my colleague Eileen. Eileen, how are you doing today? I'm well, Paul, how are you? Not too bad, not too bad. So we're here just to do a few staff picks again, and mm -hmm. one of the special things about what we have going on today is where you're at. Where are you at right now? Yes, I am at the reference desk at the main library on the top floor. I'm in the library. It's, it's very exciting. It's yeah. very cool to see it after uh, so many yeah. months. I haven't been in there yet, but staff is starting to enter back into the building and getting things mm -hmm. ready for providing mm -hmm. more services to Quincy. And uh, we're very excited. So, yeah, totally. Excited. Does it feel weird in there? Yeah, it's really, it's quiet. It's very quiet. And, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, um, and, and you, that's saying something considering it's a library to begin with, right? It's quiet. Exactly, it's, yeah. Uh, we miss our patrons and we, you know, can't wait to see you guys again, so. Yeah, it, but, it'll be very, very cool to uh, once again be able to provide services out of the library, whether or mm -hmm. not we're too close to having anybody come into the library, which we're still very far away from, I think. Uh, we, uh, we're excited to be able to provide more services, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, but let's get on with our staff picks. If you are yeah. ready, I'm going to go ahead and let you handle the first one. Yeah. Um, so I chose a genre pick and it's Get a Life, Chloe Brown. It's a romance. It's a contemporary romance. So um, sometimes, you know, historical romances are a little, a little more, um, you know, calm and not so spicy but this is pretty spicy um so if you're looking for that this is a good pick uh it has to do with uh, a black woman living in england uh current day uh and she almost dies she she almost gets hit by a truck um and she decides to get a life by having a saucy romance among other things and uh, meets a guy named red who is a redhead of course <laughs> um so <laughs> yeah. Um, they have a lot of ups and downs and um, miscommunications and that all like, you know, that whole uh, genre trope stuff. Um, but what I like about this particular book is that it it's diverse. There's an um, interracial couple. Uh, she does have a chronic disease that she deals with. And it's it feels like the characters are not just one dimensional. So um, it's a good it's romance, but it's also a good uh, just um, contemporary fiction book. Um, so I not going to spoil anything more, but um, it's definitely a good pick if you're in in the mood for something a little a little romantic and a little spicy. Very cool, so, very cool. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, my pick today is also yes. a genre pick. It's here, right here. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> and um, it is Artemis by Andy Weir. And this book is um, the follow up to The Martian. Same author as that very very popular book. I don't know if this book hits it out of the park as much as The Martian. It, I, I think it, it, there was something about it that wasn't quite as, I, I hate to use the word special, but it, it's a very solid read uh, if you like sci-fi. And if you liked kind of the tone of The Martian, um, okay. I think you'll find a lot to like in here. It's about a colony on the moon and a person who works there that is a courier that gets caught up in some mystery and intrigue. So it has some... Um, I wouldn't say quite a whodunit element, but uh, sort of, you know, in that vein, but also very much uh, mm -hmm. hard sci-fi similar to The Martian. But still, it's kind of like a hard sci-fi that's also a light read, you know. Um, mm -hmm. I think of, whenever I think of hard sci-fi, I think of uh, Neil Stevenson, and it's not Neil Stevenson. Oh, okay. Um, you know, it's much more of a page turner. Yeah. Well, confession, I never read The Martian. Uh, shocking. Uh, but this is not the same... <laughs> character is it is it not a, like a sequel or is it totally different totally different um it is it is completely different it's a, just a whole new setting um like oh, i said okay. on the moon does it doesn't have any overlap that i noticed you know oh, okay. um, if there is a call out or two they went past me yeah um, oh, okay. uh, and i will confess that i listened to it on audiobook so um okay. this is something not only do we have that physical copy at the library but we actually have this in uh, overdrive as well mm -hmm. so oh yes and um chloe brown is also at, in hoopla so good to know if you're if you're looking to, to uh read that right away yes very cool well you know mm -hmm. a little something for everyone uh, mm -hmm. at the library so we're really glad to be able to share these picks with you and before mm -hmm. we go we also want to mention that we want to hear from you um mm -hmm. you can give us a call uh 617-376-1300 and that's extension three that's right 
Is that? That's right. That's right. You, I knew you would know. <laughs> and um, we also have chat. So uh, one of the cool things that we've been able to offer lately is a chat service. You get to t uh, ask questions just by going to thomascranelibrary.org. Whenever there is a person staffing the chat, there will be a little uh, widget towards the bottom of the screen that says chat with us. And uh, you can click on that and send us a message, and there's a live person on the other end to get back to you. And when it's not staffed, you can also mm -hmm. uh, click and leave a message. And yeah, it'll, it'll go to a form that you can fill out. So Yeah, Candy. so lots of different ways to get in touch with us to answer your questions. And uh, I want to also make sure that you know about where you can follow us online on social media. Now, I have all these up here. Since you're our social media person, you can correct me mm -hmm. if I get any of these wrong. Sure. Instagram, at TCPL Quincy. TCPL Quincy, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, Facebook is TCPL Library. TCP Library. TCP Library. I realized that after I read it. Uh -huh. um, let's see. Twitter is Thomas Crane PL. Yep. Okay. And YouTube is YouTube.com slash Thomas Crane Library. Public Library. Thomas Crane Public Library. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you, Eileen. <laughs> You're welcome. So lots of ways to get in touch with us. Thank you, Eileen, for sharing uh, that pick with us. That's very cool. Yeah, thank you, Paul. All right, stay safe. Enjoy being in the building. All right. Okay, thanks. <laughs> See you. Bye.